Hey guys, so we're starting off, of course, with me doing a speed build of this wonderful new micro home that we have to do for our beautiful whimsy challenge. And I have never, ever done a micro home build before. I have had tiny living and everything in this for so long. I've never actually used it. So I did find it challenging because we kind of have to keep the micro home for the whole of her adulthood. And I start questioning as in if we build up as well when she has kids, is that still a micro home? Ah, it was it just baffled me and we're going to uh, figure this out together. But I did just make a simple layout. We have like a, a, an overly good size in a kitchen, a little bathroom and of course a bedroom. And then I tried to do a little bit of a suburban garden in the front. I don't know how well it turned out. Um, but I was pretty impressed with how it looks in gameplay. Um, you will also later see that we actually had some problems while playing the game. But I think it's because I have some custom content in there that needs to be updated. So before next gameplay, we'll probably have removed the custom content and just left um, normal in, same, in Sims 4 game play <laughs> without the CC. Um, but I am going to try and update stuff. But it did start working in other games afterwards when I removed CC. So we will have to try it out. But I just didn't know what to do. We did get our fabricator, a candle machine, um, the woodworking. And then there was some stuff that was brought over with um, our new par partner, Lex. And yeah, I did turn on BB Move Objects because I wanted to fit the bed in. I don't know if that's classed as a cheat. But we got to fit in a lot of stuff in this little tiny build. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in the episode. Hello my wonderful Pear Bears and welcome back to Gaming 
with Shelley and of course back to the whimsy challenge. I hope you enjoyed the little speed build we did at the start but we have of course built our micro home and because I've never built a micro home before I, oh, I was out of my depth. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing but I followed the recommendations so it was 32 tiles and you know what we actually did fit a lot in there we have started as well with some plants on top of the fridge and things like that as well so our home will turn into pretty much a plant paradise slash suburban tiny home slash family home slash everything so our girl is starting off the morning and of course it starts to rain she's starting off her early morning of course with some yoga and we are of course we are living for it um so the reason I kept some of this stuff was, of course, he brought his bike over with him. I didn't realize this was in the inventory, but it was. He brought his bike over with him, and then she popped the bike that she had found out in the dumpster beside it. I started the little bit of the plant life in the front of the house, because I think most suburban homes have kind of like a little front kind of uh, flower area. I popped this here so she can work on her woodworking. Um... I started to do kind of like the overgrown flowers around here because these are two different color tones and I'm trying my best here. Um, he brought this with him so I left it along with the tent and that because there's going to be some nights there where he's just not going to want to sleep inside. I did actually try to get him to sleep in the tent but I wasn't getting the option. I was just getting plant outfits and plant inventory. I'm wondering is it because it's too close to the edge. If I move her here, how about now? No, he still can't sleep in it. I think it's because they have a bed, so therefore he doesn't need to sleep in it. But the option is there, especially if we have sleepover guests. Um, of course, he is still not used to having somewhat of a kitchen. So let's just have a take a look. So right now it is really small. But we could do an awful lot with this, believe it or not. Um, we actually could do an awful lot with this. Uh, we have absolutely no problem with, um, you know, using the bathrooms outside if we need to make more room for a baby because we have to stay in a micro home um for all of her young adulthood and i'm trying to figure out if we can build up i'm not sure yet but we figure it out um so yeah it is also the first day of summer yes it's the first day of summer which means all of our spring plants are now out of season we still have bluebells for the whole month of spring and summer, which is pretty cool. Our bonsai shrub is in season. Dude, we have a sink. We actually use the same sink that we had found in the dumpster. Oh, okay, girl, girl, girl. Yoga time's over. You are going to repair this. Um, so he is actually going to be our, our gardener. He is going to help with the gardens and stuff. Like, she's going to do it as well, but when she needs to be working on fabrication and that, he is going to look after the only plants we actually have right now. Oh! Let's harvest a bonsai bud because so we can um, plant another bonsai. Let's see if we have any more flowers and stuff in our inventory because... Um, so we have some uh, herbs and stuff, and I was thinking that we could, you know, have a herb garden. Are the carrots in season? Fall and spring. Fall and spring. Fall and spring. Spring. We got another cow uh, berry, a cow plant berry. So I don't know if I want to plant another cow plant because I am so afraid of, you know, someone visiting and something happening to the poor thing. Um, I was thinking we could go to Evergreen Harbor today. Did you fix? Did she repair it? Awesome. That's my girl. Okay, can we? All right, okay. All right, they are planning date night and things like that. Now, our little thing, it is, it's going okay, but we still need to reach level three fabrication and we need to recycle two more items so i am thinking that we will definitely take a trip we will take a trip to evergreen harbor to do some dumpster diving and to of course check out the community space like i promised you in the last episode and we never got around to it because a lot happened in the last episode and um more than i thought i didn't think we were going to be moving in with um 
Mr. Jacks so soon. Um, but we did, and you know what? I'm down for it because, um, even though he's still not used to having a house, uh, this is the community lot. It's Evergreen Community Space, and I can't wait for you guys to have a look in it. So we're bringing. We're oh, sorry, it's not Jacks. It's Lex. Well, I think it was Jacks. So we're going to bring um, Lex with us. Um, and of course, because we now have a tiny, like a micro home, we could probably finally bring over our our childhood dog. But I'm not going to do that until you guys have had time to uh, catch up. And of course, um, you know. And we're not going to try for any pregnancies in this episode. If it happens, like with risky boohoos, then fine. Um, but once she's pregnant, I'm going to make sure we're not going too far on in the storyline because I do want to see your suggestions for nature themed. Okay, so we're back home and my game just paused. I don't know why. But as you can all tell, like I have all of this equipment um, outside and you don't know it hasn't broke in the rain, which is pretty cool. So we've got so many more options because of the bits and pieces we have and the level. So I'm one, we've been trying to make the fabricated rug and she keeps getting dragged into the machine. I am hoping that we can, oh my God, what? Oh no way. Oh my god, we have so many colours now. Let's go for the canary one. It goes a little bit with the aesthetic, I think. So we're gonna we have to get our fabrication level up to level three. Level three guys. And we have completed the first part of Master Maker. And we are already working on our handiness skill. And our wellness skill. So that means we'd have our handiness. What are you on? Level two. So we need to get handiness and fabrication up to level three. That way we have all the skills that we have to max out in this all at level three. And then we are in grit progression. Um, so he brought this chair with him. And because it's an eco lifestyle ch uh, chair, I was like, I'm going to keep it because it's going to be the outdoor chair. Now, I know it has like... I don't know much about suburban homes, um, but I know like the aesthetics is that like the front of it is all polished and polished. Did we make it? Where is it? Is it in our household inventory? Oh my god, I have to check. I'm sorry, I really have to check. Um, is it in our household inventory? Oh my god. She did it! Oh my god, oh my god, we actually made a fabricated rug! <gasps> my girl! Look. Oh, she big! Oh wow, okay, I am. Oh my god! It looks like a waffle! Wait, not too far under. Thank you. Um. Look at that! Oh my god! We made a rug. We made a rug for our bedroom. Oh frick heck yes. Frickin' yes. Oh my god. Queen! You are a queen! Why are mushrooms in here? Hmm. We're gonna keep the drum as well because camping. But guys, we actually made our first fabricated um, thing. Now, because we are still trying to get to level three, I'm thinking we will go back out to the fabrication machine and see if we can make... Oh, Lex. Okay, what's wrong, sweetheart? It's good to hear your voice, Daisy. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know... No way. Okay. Um, what was the name again? I have him in my family dynamics um, challenge. And I was trying to find pronunciation for his name, and this is it. Okay. Joaquin. Joaquin. Okay, that's how you pronounce um, his name. So, 
I wanted to ask if I should get to know Joaquin Lachin a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. This is so freaking bizarre because Joaquin is the, you know, the significant other of our Lillian in the uh, Family Dynamics Challenge. This is crazy, but you know, I'm just going like, yes, okay, yes, definitely make as much, she's showering. Um, that is just bizarre. That's so bizarre to me right now. Um, I've also just realized that our, we're definitely going to be making a chair. Is there two chairs we can make? We're going to stick to the one color theme. Um, but our finances are going to take a hit because, who says? Who are you? Vanessa Wong, why are you here? Okay, well, um, I suppose um, we should be friendly. I'd say ask to leave because she's a celebrity and we don't want a celebrity life around us. I was just, I'm, I'm, the challenge rules are getting all sick in my head. She's went to get away from the bizarre and broken life that she was living and away from celebrities and stuff like that. And here we have a celebrity knocking on the door. It could be a celebrity from the past, a friend from the past. Okay. So, so far, this has not grabbed her. So far, we're doing a lot better with the fabricator. I'm hoping it does not grab her now that I've said, please don't grab her. But I've just realized as well. Okay, so it just whacked me over to our, um, to our beautiful Lex, who was being apparently attacked by a swarm of wasps. Uh, I don't even know where he was, but apparently he was being, you know, with a swarm of wasps. So I'm just going to have her go back to the fabricator machine and finish off our fabricated chair. Um... Because with the weather right now, I don't really want her out in the rain so much. He's a green fiend, all right? So he loves doing everything in outside. And it also means, like, um, we have the green eco uh, footprint, which means, you know, uh, things happen a lot quicker here. What? Who are you? All right. Paolo, Rocco, do not want you part of this Let's Play. <laughs> we already have, like, um, you know, the owl, uh, Joaquin, Joaquin, oops. All right, him. We have him. Uh, we'll just call him Sweetie in our other Let's Play because I am always going to forget how to pronounce that. <gasps> Reach level three. You caught something. Did you finish it? Oh frick, we finished it. Oh my god, do oh my god, we finished it. We Oh my god! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Decimal down. Decimal down, girl. Wait a minute. Why did you give me another rug? I thought I went for a chair. I did something wrong. Okay, well we have a new rug. Did my game glitch out? Did my game actually glitch out? I thought we picked a chair. Why are you walking in circles? I mean, build mode. How are you moving? What the holy Jamaya? What the? Things are happening. I don't like it. All right. So he's fishing and she is. Oh, he caught a tulip. So um, obviously you're going to be sad. Okay. He's uncomfortably wet. I suppose like. All right, okay. He's catching so much doll. Like that is. That's amazing. I love that. Caught a tulip. He caught a. What are you? A tuna. And he caught. My game doesn't want to tell me. Oh my god, is still on fast forward? What the frick? What'd you do? Did you burn something? Can you just tell me? Unnecessary spending from cooking a meal without ingredients. Ah! 
Well, girl, that's okay. I'm about to um, solve that for you. Let's open up the fridge inventory and we're going to add all of our herbs and things to it. Um, maybe I should then have like simple living on this where she can't cook unless she has the ingredients in the fridge. Just saying. Okay, let's add um, parsley. There you go. I do not like when my game slows down. Okay, pop the mushrooms in. Okay, and then like with Lex, he's got fish in his um, inventory. So we're going to add the fish to the fridge as well. And then we have ingredients there definitely to cook with. The only thing I'm not adding into the fridge inventory is that goldfish. That's just, that's just weird to me. I remember like um, in my personal gameplay, I bought, why can't I add that? They're foul. All right, you can go in. All right, so if they're foul, they won't go in. Okay. Did he just? A digilastic sketch pad. Oh my God, he did not freaking just. Did you need to come home? Um, you know, how about for once you just have yourself a nice owl steamy shower? How about that? All right, so we've added stuff in. All right, so the fish is foul. Are both of them foul? All right, you're excellent, so move you in. All right, you're foul. Um, I'm not doing this whole wall mount of fishies. No, thank you. Are you alive? She's foul. We can't keep her. Okay, there we go. Now, let him go and have himself his first ever hot shower. How's that cow plant doing? Okay, she's in good season. Can we fertilize her with something? No, I want to keep the tulip because tulips remind me of my mum and my nan. Okay, what's that girl doing? Okay, no. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Okay, he's cleaning himself up for you. Do you want to go and cook something with the fresh ingredients that I just popped in the fridge? Let's uh, serve dinner. And we'll only cook some, a garden salad. No. Is there not we can... No, I'm not, no, there's no point. I'm not, not going to let you cook because, you know. Girl, stop. Why do you do this to me? Okay. So he's after sprucing himself up and he's going like, you know what? We haven't um, actually, you know, we've not really spent much romantic time together. So, um, you know, let's, uh, let's have a little bit of a rubber dumble. Since we moved in, since we got the house, we haven't really christened. And she's just kind of like, well, you know, like the tent really is our... You know, it's our place. It's it's where we, you know, and we still have our tent. So why don't we just, you know, just for old time's sake, just because we have a little house now does not mean we, we give up on the people that we were. So, wink a wink, off the pop. And I think, like with that as well, we will just send our little ones off for an owl sleep after their rough and tumble in the old tent for old time six. I love these two so much. I actually love all the the sims I have right now in my challenges. So yeah. Oh my god, look at them. Oop, no protection. Wah we wah we wah no na alright I forgot you didn't buy any protection. Okay, so yeah she's happy. Why are you happy? Bringing out the best from adoring someone nearby. Woohooed in the wild. Fresh air, clean air. Was woohoo satisfactory, girl? Oh my god, why does it do this to me? Okay, well, they're both asleep now. Gremlins or something? I thought I had gremlins on this. I, is it because I changed it to tiny lot? See, we got, like, I'm just going to show you, we're on the micro home. 
Um, okay, so it lightens the load. So uh, energy is you lose that and builds our law. All, all relationship gains are doubled. Let it grow. Plants grow twice as fast as normal. And happy, inspired, and focused posts last twice as long. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so we have great soil, of course, for our plants. Um, I want it to have the homey feel as well. So we're going to do the homey feel. And then, of course, when we do have kids, we want them to be accomplished. So we have good schools. And then go here, and I think it's on this. Simple living. This lot requires ingredients to cook all the recipes. Uh, cooking with ingredients just makes food taste better. There we go. We got the simple living, and I wanted the gremlins because we need to build up the handiness skill as well. So there we go. I think that's pretty cool. All right. So she can only cook with ingredients that she has in her fridge. Now, we've already paid for this one, so I've got to keep cooking. Oh, hello. Chat with Lex. Okay. Oh! <gasps> Evolve. What is this? This is our grow fruit tree a tree that produces grow fruit most often found blooming during the grow fruit challenge it's in season oh my god i'm so freaking happy all right um lex do you mind actually would you plant this new bonsai berry we have and can you go here as well and let's sell all of these um without our snapdragons we have very little you're doing okay so I was going to think about purchase seeds here and uh, we need starter vegetables and herbs, right? That was 70 simoleons. Uh, one of you are not going to be happy about that. Um, you're going to be like, did you just spend money on stuff we could have foraged? What happened to the days of when we would forage for our food? You bought a fridge. <laughs> I really want to sell this, but how much? No, not you. I want you. Keep you there. <laughs> okay. Um, things aren't working. Okay. Can I plant? Oh, spring. Of course. What about you? Okay, it doesn't say I want to plant you. And I got, of course, more mushrooms. Fracking. Frack, frack, frack. Okay, can you come and get some food? She has cooked fruit salad from scratch. And I know it's not the best kind of kitchen, but they love living off the basics and they can sit and eat out in the garden. Did you eat? She did eat. Okay, so let's have a look at our skill. Okay. Our fabrication. Oh wait, does that mean we? <gasps> no way. We actually did. We actually got level three. So is handiness level three? Yeah. No, it's not. So let's go out here. Oh my god, we can craft furniture. <gasps> let's do a garden pot. Oh, oh god. Oh my god, I'm so freaking happy. Okay, so we've rebate day. Shopping rebate. All objects purchased in build mode earn a 10% rebate for today only. Buy an object worth at least 500 simoleons to complete this tradition. We only have 648 simoleons. I am not doing that. Um, Unless we sell that sketch pad now. 750 simoleons. He fished out something for 750 simoleons. That is insane. Okay. So I've been trying to think how we would do the greenhouse without it affecting the micro home thingy. And I think because the way I was going to do it was I would put walls up, but then get rid of the walls when I had the, the columns, but like make sure I don't fill it in because it's classed as a square then. I know it's like a cheaty way, but I want a greenhouse so that we can have plants all year round. And then I could move the picket fence up to the front for like the kids and that. And then like the back all literally be for gardening. I know, I know, I know, I know. 
Um, that's, I think it might be a bit da further down the line kind of goal. Okay. Diddly dum, diddly dum. Okay. self sustain from cooking with simple living lot challenge. Oh, yay. Okay, we're going to get this buff as well now. Oh, my God, this is so freaking cute. And Lex has all of these very inspired greener world. We live in an awesome world with our little tiny micro home. What else would we need? And then he likes the whole fact, as, aspect of he gets to find uh, all of these really cool items and he gets to fish for fresh fish. So when she wa when they want to do baked fish, they've got the fish in the fridge. Um, and she's just there like, I am going to build little things for our garden. Um, I want to have some flower pots around the front of the house and then I want a greenhouse and I just I want all of these really nice things that I couldn't um, have um, and all this love as well. So it's going to be awesome. I'm sorry. I just really love this. I'm loving these challenges right now. I'm so in love with them. And our grocery tree is just like, is she just, she's neon green. When are you going to grow? We've had you for a whole season. I got dirty water. No, we did not water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we have fabricated two rugs. We are hopefully in level three of handiness now. Oh my God, we are. I am sorry if I'm so close to the microphone. I'm just, I am... I'm in love with this challenge right now. Oh, we can do a mirror now? Okay. That's oh, 87 simoleons. What kind of sculptures can we do now? Oh my God, we can do more. Oh my God. We have a knife block and we have a horse sculpture. I want an elephant. I want, I want a dragon one. Oh, but just do the elephant one. Oh my God. Oh my God, freaking heck. I did pick on the elephant, right? Yes, I did. Um, I wonder if we could... All right, it's, it's early in the morning, so can we push out our table? Oh my God, we just reached level four in handiness. Okay, so we'll put the knife block out. Okay, view inventory. So knife block is there. Do we not do the hearse one after? Let's just breed these two frogs together. Okay, uh, let's put one of the frogs out. Yeah. Um, I didn't sell my candles. Okay, let's pop the candles there. Okay. Like, apparently, you want to get like the other flower arranging table where you can grow the flowers and you can make flower flower arrangements. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to do that. Um. Okay, we've finished the candles. I have everything stocked onto this. I have her stocking table, then I'll have her tent table. And we have all of our cute little candles and stuff like that. Um, okay, so tent table. How does she keep pulling dishes out of her inventory? And then I'm gonna have her start yard sale. All right, are we tending? Okay. Um, let's do a markup yoke of 100% and then start yard sale. Thank you, my dear. Um, it's also a rebate day. So I kind of want to see how much we get. So we've got 1,427 Um, Lex, what are you doing? Oh, you finished your set. All right, don't, don't monster stamp. Um, this is also really cool that we have a little beach by our house because the kids can go down there when they're a little older and build sandcastles. Girl, have we any visitors? All right, it's gonna be one of those things like where the last half hour of the sale people start coming, but that's when we will, All right, there's a kid coming. All right. Oh my God, my time frame, my time frame, what the frick? Mila, come back, Mila. Okay. 
Let's start yard sale. Come on, everybody. Let's go. 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 And I'm not going to speed up the time frame. Okay, so once people... All right, there we go. Come back here. Hello, Judith. How are you doing today? Give a sales pitch. Hello, Olive Thinker. Oh, my God. Are you Tina Thinker's daughter? Oh, my God. Tina Thinker, we need her as a friend. Girl. Seriously? Okay. Again, you're annoying me now. Handmade candles. And none of you get into my house. That's even better. Nancy Landgrab. Why are you so shocked? Give sales bitch. Who are you laughing at? Are you laughing at my house? <gasps> oh, she bought something for 50 simoleons. Oh, she bought a candle. Are all these people just going to start showing up now? Oh my God, this is so awesome. Let's see if she'll sell that and if she'll buy anything else. Hi, Mark. Bye, Marcus. Um, Judith, are you just going to stand around or are you going to actually buy something? These are all homemade stuff and all these celebrity people like all of this, okay? Mm. Nothing is working. Okay. Give sales pitch and sell, sell, sell. Sell, sell, sell. Okay. I think as well, if I was to get her some like um like a knitting box and a crochet box, we could do some knitting and we could do some crocheting. Um, Judith does not like me for some reason, but you know, it does not matter. You have showed up at my house to my sale. Don't just chat to people and not buy stuff. This is nice. Oh my god, she bought the red candle for 70 simoleons! Oh my god! You like me. You really like me. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Nancy, come on. See if you want to buy something else off me. Nancy's just kind of like, oh girl, I just bought a candle off you for 50 simoleons. Come on. Um, bum -ba -dum, bum -ba -dum. We're all chatting. Hear ye, hear ye, I am selling candles and handmade wooden things. Come and buy these miraculous things. Stock table. This is really bugging me. Like, my t my, my, my time frame has gone down. Uh, all right, your tail is running out of space and fit things. Okay. <gasps> I knew it. In the last minutes of my freaking sale, you sort of all oh, show up. Okay, quick, 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 give sales pitch. Jeffrey's here to see what his wife is buying with his money again. Give sales pitch. And it's like, well, look, if you're here, you might as well buy something. I have some beautiful candles, and I have a beautiful green sage candle there. You know, it would actually come in handy. Give sale, pa give sale pitches. Give me money, money, money. Money. Give me money, money, money. Money. Oh my god, someone just bought something for eight smiles. Oh, my elephant. Yo, he's gone. Someone actually bought my elephant sculpture. Does nobody like my knife lock? Seriously? Seriously? No, wait, come back. Come back, come back, start. I have another yard sale. Um, please do stay and buy something. I will mark everything up. Jeffrey, 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 Jeffrey. Do you want to buy Nancy a candle? I should really get, no, Bajorn, you bought nothing. Bye, Bajorn. Judith, would you like to buy something else? Yes? I think you want to buy something. Are you fighting? Don't use my painting thing. Don't use my painting thing! Is she making fun of my painting thing? She is making fun of my painting thing. 
you know what? Just leave. Leave, 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 leave. Leave. All of you go. All of you leave me. Okay. You'll all be leaving now. Anyways, uh, that was not a successful sale. We did sell some stuff, but we didn't sell a lot of stuff. But people were just literally gawping around everything. So I think, oh my god, there's my plant pot. I forgot I made a plant pot. Oh my god. Do you know what? I actually can't move this anymore, so it's stuck there. But I'm thinking, how nice would it be to have that right there? I love it. I think I want that there. Okay, so we have to buy something for 500 simoleons in order to get this rebate. Okay, so what can I buy for 500 simoleons? I do want to buy like maybe a little table and chairs. Um, but not for inside, maybe outside, because it's summer now. 500 simoleons. I have to buy an object for 500 simoleons. That's 300. Is there a more expensive version of that? 520. But she doesn't have chairs. That's 545. That'd be cute. She'd be cute. Um, what about like over this area here? Yeah, that should qualify me for something. Um, I don't know what kind of. I'm gonna go with sunshine yellow. Okay, so have I? I've qualified for it, and has, and he's qualified for it. Awesome. Why is he mad? Feeling angry from the hot headed trip. Ah, oh, okay. She is, um, just you know, everybody go, everybody leave. Okay, so clear table. How come nobody will leave? Seriously? Send everyone home. Oh my god, seriously. This is, this is the worst thing about having the market table at your home. Okay. Maybe we should, you know, from now on, we'll go out into the world and do our market table. I just wanted to see if we could make money from it. Okay, so we've completed rebate day. Nobody can come into our house because I am so happy I put on the only households can go into the house. Okay. Where is Mr. Have you been on your phone the whole day down at the beach avoiding people? Can you go home? Okay, go home. Thank you. I'm thinking, you know, it's a bit of time for whoopies. Some whoopies. All right, goodbye. You should have all left anyways. It was only for a market stall. Bye. Why are you? Look. Victor and his wife, Lily, are still chatting here to the other rich couple in SimWorld, Jeffrey and Nancy Landgrab. Can ye all leave? I want you to leave. Goodbye. Bye, Nancy. Everyone should go. And then I think that's the end of this episode. I am, um, I don't, I feel frustrated after it. I actually honestly do feel frustrated after it because um, when people come to your house, they stay in your lot for so long. She did not want to do anything I told her. The time for, like, the, the, the time rate was all over the place. It was going slow. She was spinning while I was in build mode. I don't understand how that happened. But yeah, look, it was actually a pretty good episode. We did get to play around with the house a little bit. Um, but as you can tell, Lex is still finding it difficult to um, live in a house because he was an established homeless guy. And now he has a house and he has um, actual obligations and stuff. So it's going to take him a little time to adjust. But our girl, Daisy, is like so happy. She has... Um, 
the time frame, and this is still so weird. Um, she has everything that she's been dreaming of. She's got her little tiny suburban home. She still has like the tent and everything she started off with, but she's got a beautiful garden growing, and she is now thinking about expanding the family. And that is going to be an entertaining episode when we have to try and fit a child into this lot. But guys, if you are enjoying this um, challenge so far, make sure you let me know in the comments below. If you are new to the Pear Bear Squad, make sure that you have clicked that subscribe button and you've turned on your notification bell so you're told every time I upload a new episode. I'll see you guys all in another episode. Bye!